Hello, I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us this evening. Three people were shot in Lodo early this morning. One of them died and two are in the hospital. The crime scene stretched from Coors Field to a parking lot at 20th and Market. Denver police are, of course, investigating, and we have learned those three people shot are related. Jacqueline Quinn is live tonight in Denver, close to where this shooting happened. And Jacqueline, you spoke with someone who knows the young man who died. Yeah, I, t I spoke with someone who was very close to him, his coach, and he tells me that this young man, Trey Williams, was like a son to him. So we know that Trey Williams was not only a son, but also a father. And as we're learning right now, a football player here in Denver. Now, Trey Williams, uh, he played for the Champions League in Denver for a team called the Mile High Sting. It's a small local league to condition athletes looking to go to college or the arena football leagues. He was a cornerback there for the Mile High Sting. His coach tells us he was explosive. It's unclear what led to Trey Williams and his brother's getting shot, but he and the football community are heartbroken over the loss of their fallen teammate. He was a good coach, so this is a good kid. He was, this is hard for me uh, because you be as a coach at this level, you become somewhat of a father figure, if not a mentor to these children, to these young men. And for me, he was one of those that got real close to me. And everything from anybody that's dealt with Trey, he's always, I got you. You ask him to do anything, I got you. Say nothing less. That was always him. So uh, we're deeply saddened and heartbroken by his by the loss of him, and our our condolences go out to his mother, and his family, his children, and uh, our whole football community. We stand behind his mother and his family. Now this is where the investigation was. We're hearing that of that there may be a possible vigil, but police are still investigating at this point. In Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First.